Hi there and welcome to this texturing tutorial where we will be looking at how to texture an isometric ground or floor. Right, so let's start off with our isometric grid, grid in the background. I'm just going to lower the opacity of that um, and then working on my paint layer now. If we are painting grass, obviously we need to have a green texture or green color. So let's go with that. Then using a brush that is textured like, let's find a textured brush. Um, digital, let's have a look through these. Um, just sketch textures. Let's look through textures. Those are, hmm, I like that large splat texture noise we've got a random particle noise uh, we've got texture spray as well uh, let's start with this one here texture big mm, that's delicious so let's use that one right so let's just fill in the background with a color any color you can use the bucket tool or you can paint it like I'm doing here. Right. Now let's go slightly darker and don't fill in all of the area. So make it so that some areas are lighter and some areas are still dark. So we can go slightly darker. Okay, so we've got a basis to work with now. Now, uh, you can see that this is not going to be seamless. We need to make it so that we have a can create a seamless texture. And for that, we're going to uh, apply uh, the wrap around mode. So go to view, wrap around, and you'll immediately see that it's not it's not um, seamless but now we can make it seamless so I'm going to start with that light color and just fix up areas where our texture is not seamless um, just want to make the brush slightly bigger let's use that medium dark green And then that darker color as well. Right, so that should give us a very nice seamless grass texture. I want to add some bright highlights as well. Lower the opacity and just dot in brighter areas. And this will create a very, very nice seamless texture so but this is just the start of it um, we want to actually make it look like grass so this is fun and dandy let's find that other splatter i like that let's have a look oh here we go so lower the opacity of your brush and let's dot in some random leaves and texture that could be grass and leaves all right so let's use this shift w key to up, to apply that and not apply so shift w w shift w shift w no i don't like that so just go back so careful of dragging the brush i'm just dotting the brush I want to make it slightly lighter. Let's change the color to more of a yellow, yellowy color. And add more of that. So the idea is to start off with a base color, make areas darker, make other areas lighter. 
and then adding layers of detail on top of that. Just keep adding more and more detail. The more detail you add sometimes, the, the better it looks, the more realistic it looks. Uh, but don't, don't use a single point brush, use a textured brush to do that so that you can get um, to this effect much quicker than trying to paint each of those dots in. So the idea is just to get to this much quicker than trying to paint each and every stroke and every little leaf in with a single point brush. Now, you will have a bit of a tile texture. Okay, and you can immediately see which pattern repeats. So, there's a bit of a, a strong repeat. I want to dial that down. So, let's add some variation in here. Now, you need to be careful so that you don't create a new repeatable pattern that's going to make life hard and difficult later on. So let's have a look at that. All right, so there we've got a bit of a repeat there. Oh no, oh no, under, 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 under. Okay, let's see. We want something like that in there. Let's zoom out. Okay, so that light area there, this area here. Oh no. Let's do something dark in there. And something light in here. Zoom out. And wherever you see a pattern that's too accentuated like this one here. Just add dark or light on top of that to mute that pattern. Okay, I think that that's looking good. Okay, so that's more or less how you can create a grass texture. The easy way. Now, you could add um, more detail to this by adding strands of grass. So let's do, let's see if we've got a brush that will mimic that. Let's create a new paint layer. So that if things go wrong, we can go back. Right, so just want to create a brush that's closer to a color that's closer to what we've got going already. I'm going to do a few of this, these. Start off with a dark color. And then add highlights on top of that. And then uh, let's use a single point brush like this brush. Let's see what it does. Okay. Maybe not that one, maybe this one. Yes. Right, let's create a new layer. 
so that we can control and go back if we don't like what we are doing. Right, control, delete, and let's zoom, uh, let's zoom in and add a bit, bit more detail in here. And not everywhere, just here and there. Depending on, on how closely you you will zoom in, it will depend on how much detail you need to add to this. I would say this is fine for most purposes. Um, I think in most cases you will never zoom in more than this. So, but if you if you need to zoom in more in your game or whatever you use the these textures, um, if you zoom in more, you will need to add a little bit more detail to your scene. But I think this is sufficient. So we've got that going, we've got this going, and then we've got the base at the bottom, which are basically just random textures that we've added. So. Okay, so, so if you pr press Shift W, this is the texture. So let's export this texture. Um, I'm going to export it as export as a PNG. And let's call this grass texture texture 01. Let's call it grass texture green 01 and select PNG and export it. There we go. Now, we can utilize this to create more textures or more variations on that. So let's create a new color mask. All right, no, let's, let's do this. Put this in a group, control, G. So this is our green, green grass. Duplicate that group and let's merge that group together. Merge group. So, and then let's change the color of this. Control U. And now we can create grass that a little bit more dry and arid for areas where we want the grass to be arid press ok and let's export that export and let's call that dry grass ok and let's duplicate this again ctrl j Let's merge that together and let's call this cross tropical, tropical or forest or whatever. Control U, let's increase the saturation. And now we've got bright green grass and let's export that. I'm going to call this tropical. And you can see by just creating one, one texture, one grass texture, we can create variations on that by just changing the color of it. Okay, see you in the next lesson.